Hi, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. How are you guys? I hope well. I hope your Labor Day weekend went very well and you guys didn't get in too much trouble. Well, this is the horoscope for the week of September 4th through September 10th. There is a lot of energy shifting this week, intensifying energy this week as well. So say hello to adventure. It's a very type of circusy type energy. You might be asking why I'm wearing my robe. Well, I thought it would be appropriate for this Pisces Virgo tug of war. Pisces is the dreamy, unconscious, magical, dissolving of barriers type energy. Well, Virgo is on the opposite of critical, petty, rigid, obsessive, compulsive type, perfectionistic, um, energy, which hence my hair is so perfectly positioned. So I hope I gave off this week's energy effect. So I'd like to start off with a quote by famous Pisces Rayana. I love music and after my first experience with the movies, I can't wait to do more. This is a pretty accurate description of this week's energy. We think we have things all figured out. We think that we know what we want and we think we know what is good for us. We also may think we know where we are heading we may have been getting synchronicities of something or someone. This may not be the thing, though, or the person that will manifest into our reality. Someone better for you may be creeping around the corner. Hi, baby. manifesting than the actual person that you've been envisioning. So they may have the same qualities as the person that you have been envisioning or you think is the person that you're supposed to be with. Maybe the same sign as that kind of energy. We can love something, but until we try that other thing or give that other person a chance, we will not recognize or realize we may like the other thing much better. So that's kind of the energy that's going on. Very circusy. place. It is a watery, mutable energy that we're having a full moon in on Tuesday. So it's important to listen to what your inner self or your inner higher power is saying. Full authenticity is the key to eliminating fear. So let go of all expectations and be open to the miracles that this full moon in Pisces will bring.
We have Mercury stationary direct and will be moving into Virgo. We have Mars moving into Virgo as well. We're completely moving into the Virgo season. I cleaned my house and I organized like every little part. You haven't been over in a while, you should come over. I like put little like little name tags on each of the boxes with my pea toucher. Have you ever played with a pea toucher? The sun is in Virgo, will be opposing Neptune in Pisces all week. The sun opposed Neptune will bring shady people around to deceive you, so be mindful not to be ripped off. You know, everything's gonna be okay. You don't have to be sad. Here, I have this crystal that you can hold for a little bit. It'll make you feel better. Hey, where'd you go? That's my crystal. Make sure to put away your ego and embrace your creative and spiritual energies. Be clear to others about your intentions. Yeah, come over for dinner. I'm making a big dinner. No, no, no special occasion. I got you your favorite beer too. All right, I just need you to help me move. Okay. And please be careful with addictive behaviors. Not to go extreme, be on the lookout for overdoses. I bet you I could drink this whole bottle in one swig. Ready? Go! <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <clears throat> can somebody take me to the hospital? Because that is kind of this kind of energy that's happening right now. So, all I ask of you guys is to be mindful and protect yourself from any harm or danger this week. I will be talking more specifically about all these shifts I just listed in each of the daily horoscopes that will be provided the morning of that day. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoy all this week's Virgo and Pisces energy. Peace out, guys.